Hello, this is Amy B. reading to you from my blog, The Blessed Hope. This is entitled, My Goal. My pastor, a few weeks ago, shared with me a thought that keeps coming to my mind. He who stands before God is not afraid to stand before men. It reminded me of Joseph, of Daniel, Elijah, Esther, and many other biblical examples of men and women who loved God and served Him at any cost. Isaiah spoke of this in Isaiah 8 and 13. Sanctify the Lord of hosts Himself, and let Him be your fear, and let Him be your dread. Jeremiah, speaking for the Lord, said, Fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Will you not tremble at my presence? which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass it. And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. Though they roar, can they not pass over it? Jeremiah 5 and 22. Isaiah also spoke about the fear of the Lord in Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And also Proverbs says the fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. A.W. Tozer wrote in Man, the Dwelling Place of God, that God being who he is must always be sought for himself, not ever as a means toward something else. Whoever seeks God is as a means toward a desired end will not find God. The mighty God, the maker of heaven and earth, will not be one of many treasures, nor even the chief of all treasures, he will be all in all, or he will be nothing. God will not be used. Lord, help us. Help us to fear you. I love the following poem, My Goal. My goal is God himself, not joy nor peace, nor even blessing, but himself my God. Tis his to lead me there, not mine but his, at any cost, dear Lord. And by any road, so faith bounds towards its goal in God, and love can trust her Lord to lead her there. Upheld by him, my soul is following hard, till God hath fulfilled my deepest prayer. No matter if the way be dark, no matter though the cough cost be oft times great, he knoweth how I best shall reach the mark. The way that leads to him must needs be straight. One thing I know, I cannot say him nay. One thing I do, I press on towards my Lord, my God, my glory, here from day to day. And in the glory there, my great reward. And that poem was written by Frederick Brooke. This was posted on September 3rd in 2007 by leaning on the beloved. The question is, what is your goal? Lord, I pray that you would help us as this devotional talks about the fear of the Lord to fear you. And God, if we fear you like we need to and reverence you like we need to, we do not need to be afraid to stand before men. I thank you that you are the most high and that you promise to abide with those that are truly humble. So help us, I pray, to follow hard after you and fulfill our deepest prayer to press towards you and let you be our glory. In Jesus' name, amen.